Welcome back to Tiempo. It is a household name, and it's now the largest and fastest growing Hispanic food owned company in the U.S. Goya Foods making a new commitment to our area, bringing jobs and a focus on healthier foods. And we're joined this morning by our good friend, Bob Unanue, the president of the company, and Mary Therese Racanelli. She's a nutritionist and a food scientist at Goya. I think the last time you were here, I knew it Pico. I mean, it had to be a little over a year ago. We were, yeah, we were talking about the expansion, right, right. in Jersey City, um, hoping to break ground. How, how's that? Give me an update. How's that going? Well, thanks for having us back. It, it's, it's going good. You know, our, in our expansion, we're undergoing the biggest expansion in our history, uh, not only in the, the New York, New Jersey area, but around the country. Mm -hmm. And that pretty much parallels the growth of the Hispanic community yeah. over the last 10 years, about 62%. The United States is the second largest Hispanic con uh, country in the world and uh, about 17% of our population. And so, you know, our expansion parallels that growth and, and not only the growth of the Hispanic community, but the acceptance of our product uh, in the general community. Very quickly, it's, it's, it's new corporate headquarters and new manufacturing facility? Or is, do I remember it correctly? That's correct. In Jersey City and Secaucus, we'll be uh, manufacturing and then we'll have our, our corporate headquarters. Uh, we're opening in Atlanta mm -hmm. and uh, California. We're expanding. We're expanding. Uh, we have a new factory in Texas. We, we bought a big uh, rice farm. We're on the uh, smack in the middle of a big rice farm and we're making beans there. So right. we have beans and rice in one location. And, and very quick before I get to Mary Therese, because uh, people hear this and they say, I trajo jobs. And how many jobs will be available and what kind of people will you be looking for once the, once the ribbon is cut on the new facility? Well, Goya around the world is about 4,000 strong and, and, and growing. Uh, it's, a, it's a moving target, and, and like I said... Locally, uh, I mean, obviously we're thinking New York, New Jersey, metropolitan area. Several hundred okay. uh, jobs uh, and, and, in, in the New York, New Jersey area. Ranging anywhere from cleaning services to food scientists? Well, you know, the jobs today are, are, are more sophisticated. Let's say, uh, you know, Mar Mary Therese uh, joined us in, in nutrition, but we have uh, a lot of com computer jobs, uh, logistics, a lot of what we do, mm -hmm. uh, moving product around, our marketing, and. Uh, involves sophisticated uh, programs and, and, and being able to get the product to market uh, in an efficient mm -hmm. way and add value to the consumer. Mary Therese, you were brought on. It's only been a couple of months, right, since yes. you've been with this company. Yeah. W with the goal and the mission that you've been charged with yeah. being what? Um, it's very diverse. Uh, it's given me an opportunity that I'll be going out into the community and helping to educate the public about national health initiatives like our um, Mi Plato and My Plate program, mm -hmm. and also helping to educate health professionals as well as to the diversity and the cultural nutrition differences um, that affect health. And a lot of them aren't very aware of the, the nuances and the nutritional value mm -hmm. of the Hispanic foods. What are some of the eye-opening facts that you've had to reveal to them? Um, well, I've been doing this for a very long time mm -hmm. as a health professional and also as a consultant in the industry for about 15 years. So, Particularly uh, for Latinos. Uh, yes, and mm -hmm. my background and my master's thesis was in the Hispanic community. So um, it, educating them, and actually I was at the National Hispanic Medical Association. I'm on the board there and mm -hmm. educating the physicians that Ancestral foods is a lot healthier than they realize. Yes, and how much of what you do is analyzing what's in the ingredients of Goya products and saying, you know what, maybe there should be more of this and less of that, and, and maybe there should be less of this and more of that. I mean, do, are you scrutinizing up and down the product line to say, this is a good product, but we can make it healthier? Well, it's a lot easier than most people think because they think of the commercial aspects, but when you look at Goya, Goya started, you know, 75 years ago yes. with the basics. Um, you know, for example, these red beans, mm -hmm. they're just <laughs> they, red beans. They've been they've in my house, you know, 10 <laughs> right? million times. They they, they're grown and here they are in the bag. There's, and so there's a lot of that naturalness. For example, um, the uh, olives, olives, you know, a couple years ago, Bob, you know, had charged them to give the diversity of, you know, lower mm -hmm. sodium olives. Well, a lot of people don't even realize that they have them. And they're one of the few companies that do offer that. Sit tight. I want to ask you some more details about the, the nutritional approach now that you've taken. And more of it being in response to what the community needs and is demanding as well. So more about Goya's expansion plans and the focus on our health in our community when we come back on the